Uh, welcome guys. So uh, I'm Eric. So uh, this video, uh, let's talk about a small topic of the time complex analysis called the Joukowsky transformation. Okay, so uh, actually I don't know, uh, maybe this is a Russian guy. I uh, hope I didn't pronounce uh, his name uh, wrong. So yeah. So this video, let's talk about Joukowsky transformation. So before I start, uh, if you guys are interested in my complex analysis, then you can go to my playlist. I will post a link below so you guys can check it. And there are lots of uh, complex analysis video. Uh, for example, like very, uh, some very famous uh, so-called uh, uh, residue theorem and the many uh, results. Okay. Yeah, so this is a short video about Joukowsky transformation, and then we will do uh, one uh, some examples and uh, talk about uh, uh, why Joukowsky uh, is important. Uh, okay, so now uh, let's talk about definition. I hope you guys subscribe. So let's define uh, omega to be z plus one over z. This is called uh, Joukowsky. Okay, so maybe uh, we see an uh, example. So this example is uh, very important and uh, uh, many tests like to ask. Okay, so uh, it's a unit, let's say, uh, consider a circle uh, with radius C, and then we ask, uh, what is the image under uh, Joukowsky? Okay, so let's write Z equals to C times uh, exponential I theta. Okay, so omega will be exponential i theta c plus 1 over c exponential i theta minus, right? So this is omega c uh, cosine. Okay, so let's, let's write. Write omega as a cosine theta c plus 1 over c uh, plus uh, i c 1 minus 1 over c sine theta. Okay, so uh, this is x, right? This is y. Okay, so you notice that x is a uh, cosine theta c plus 1 over c, and y is sine theta c minus 1 over c. Okay, so uh, I think everybody know in, in learning uh, like junior high school or something, right? You know that uh, if x, so you can write as this guy, plus a square and plus y square. So this is cosine, let's see, cosine square. This is sine square, right? So their addition to will be one, right? So this is the ellipse. If c is non-zero, right? If c is, uh, is non, non, uh, not one, right? If c is not one, then the c minus one over c will not be zero. Okay, so the standard result is that this guy will make a circle become a ellipse. Okay, so this is uh, c not equal to one. And then let's say uh, if c equals to one, and uh, then if c is equal to one, then y will be zero, right? X will be, x will be just cosine, right? But the but the maximum of x is uh is two, right? Because one plus one uh one, so you get here, which is two. So this line, this straight line, is c equals to one. Okay, so a uh, really uh, simple example. Okay, let's uh, talk about why uh, Joukowsky. Uh, Joukowsky, I mean, it's a Q, it's a Q nip, right? Why just because it's important? I mean, I, I'm still very happy that uh, if anyone see my video, then uh, that means uh, you are my uh, friend, right? So uh, let's say if you have a circle, uh, which is uh, maybe P is here, 1, and the Q is minus 1. If, if your circle looks like his, right? This is different from a uh, unit circle, his. Then uh, you can use computer to, to show that uh, your Joukowsky will be like the air, like an air fo air foil, right? So looks like P prime will be two. <coughs> it's easy to see that one will map to two, right? And the minus one will map to minus one, minus one. So will map to uh, Q, right? Q will minus one plus one or minus one, which is minus two, right? So uh, Q should be mapped here. Let's get Q prime. And uh, your your will start like here. This you will start like a uh, air folio. Okay, I mean you you can go to the Wikipedia to see the see the shape. It's not ellipse. It's a it's like a lo uh, looks like this. So it's like an air folio. Uh, sorry about this. So it looks like a, yeah. I mean half. Okay. Okay, and if if your circle is a, a little bit higher than the original, let's say here, 
then your results will be a uh, higher well this your p prime will be higher little bit so it looks like this okay so the idea is that uh, uh, one can use let me just write down the words one can use a uh, Jokuski to solve air foil PDE so basically, if you have the air for your shape PDE, then you can also, but you can use a Joukowsky transformation just to go back to the circle, right? So once you have circle, then you are easy to solve uh, a lot. Uh, you can easily solve it. Okay, so let's may, let me write down a final remark. So uh, one of the final remark is that uh, your f is defined to be z one plus one over z, so your f prime is one minus one over z squared. So that means that if z is a uh, is not plus or minus one, then f is a conformal map. Okay, so basically you will preserve the angle, okay? And then if z is plus or minus 1, then, you, then it will not. And uh, this is just a very uh, little fact that uh, I guess everyone knows. Okay, so next time uh, we can talk about the uh, uh, so-called uh, Mobius transformation. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.